Alright, this is gonna be a two part bonus. That's because one getting the bluster blade. Two, well, this. So, you know the carrot room I was running back and forth on on Geno? Yeah. Get at least the gaster. I was just getting very, very unlucky, and it took me like a few minutes. I didn't record all of that because that would be very boring. Back in my youth, before I was assigned a royal scientist, I was but the royal baby. It was a family lineage for young. When I discovered how to convert Holland's magma into electricity, it was possible to power abandoned human appliances found in waterfall. From then on, the family position became that of science. But the lineage ended with me. It was when the Premier children died. From Asriel's dust laid a red human soul. From Asriel leaving with it, I figured the barrier utilized soul power. I unofficially investigated the human soul and its behavior. Perhaps I could discover a way to break the barrier. However, as more human souls came into the king's possession, I noticed something peculiar. The red soul was completely impervious to damage. Unlike the other human souls, which would show signs of damage upon taking its internal substance. As the soul power experiment came to an inconclusive close, I had to know how resistant to change the red soul was. My time of falling was coming close. With what little mortal life I had, I resigned from my position, took the red soul with me to the core, and clutching it in my grasp, leaped into the ozone below. Within mere moments, I felt myself being scattered and shattered, and yet my grasp on the soul had not loosened. It was only when my mind began to rip apart did I decide to release, and here I was. Surrounded by and surrounding everything and nothing. Yet, somehow, I felt the red soul near me. It is always near. Despite being able to reconstruct a new residence here, despite being able to reform my mind into one essence, I could never escape. I could only look in from the outside. Only through the viewport of that very soul. Wherever in time and space it resides. I only desire to become whole again. And for a long time, I felt that I would remain here, stuck in eternal purgatory. That is it. Until I found it. The dark fountain. From under the earth. There is a dark magic that can envelop its surroundings and become a new world that you know all too well, Chris. So then... Should... Should you... Shall you help me create a new world, Bunny? Hey, that's me! One bunny boy! Chris? What the hell are you doing? You're kind of wondering. You weren't gonna... Gonna what? Never mind. Maybe it just needs... They just need a minute. These are... Were, was, are kind of hypnotic in a way. Okay. This is getting weird. Let's just go. That was secret number one I missed. Now the unfortunate thing is, I need to play all the way up until the door that we missed. 
and not die once. Because that is the only save point nearby that is before the point of no return. So that's gonna be fun. Also, this is still Pacifist. Don't forget, Bunny's Pacifist, Rabbit is Geno. Uh, time to see if this is truly random every single time. Mind I could barely see this anything in last time. Oh yeah, no, this is random. Astounding! And ten seconds! Did your plan out your movements in advance, or perhaps you specific, secretly knew what the puzzle was? Clearly, you're or an expert at color tiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Alright, right, his room I had no idea what to do about. See it? You know, just do this, hold the up and down keys and just wait for the battle to start. I'll see that it's there. Blood! Blood. That's action. Finally! The egotistical ass wife is finally dead! What is this? The human? Everything is falling into place! With the human soul character, everyone's finally giving me the respect I deserve! Time to die, human! Jerry suddenly appeared. Check. Criticize, inquire. Three attack, three defense. Everyone knows Jerry, but no one knew he is alive. Or so it claims. It's when the fluid katana is, is the only means of attack. Call Jerry stupid, Skasada. Good Jerry in the wars. Okay, he does quite a bit of damage. Reflect. Guard. Try to reflect on Jerry's action, but nothing seems to resonate. Oh, sh shit. I'm at the candy. No challenge. You know nothing, you stupid thing.
Nat Three Man Suzy, Sylvana and Chris. Technically, this is not in a fight you have to do in Geno. I mean, you can do it in Geno, but you don't have to. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Checkpoint. <laughs> no, that's a future me problem. But first. I'm gonna see if the Bluster Blade is even worth getting. The answer is going to be no, because quads hit for so much. 50 versus... Yeah, it's already breaking past it. 
if that fits, that would be way better, but then again, we have cracked that, so... I'll see what the need is for it. Other than it's an interesting weapon. Yeah, we're already breaking past it, and we haven't even quite hit, even hit a quad yet. The video does not end until I get a quad. Start off with a bonus video, we can do well over a hundred damage with it. There we go, that's a quad, that's 88. Wait, where can you get the aluminum bat? Wait, but, like, act, no, actually, when can you get the aluminum bat? Yeah, no, tough bugs. Tough bugs are like generally bad.
I'm not getting the Bluster Blade. Till next time, on another exciting bonus video. <laughs> or ultimately, Super Mario RPG. Till next time.